Hi there, it's Paulie here again, and I'm just doing an update uh, of my tube octave pedal build. You can call this part two, I guess. I will do a part three, and in part three, it will do a quick recap on parts one and two, and um, obviously an update which will involve the pedal being finished and, and generally having a look inside and uh, a demo at the end. So I've pretty much mounted the input and output jacks. Um, input for the for the power is there. Um, power supplies are built and they run. Um, you've got your high tension power supply, which is um, pretty much comes in 16 volts or 18 volts comes in, goes through the primary. The, sorry, the secondary side or what would be intended to be the secondary side of this transformer and then the primary side it goes to a rectifier so what we're doing is we're transforming the 18 volts up to a higher voltage and then we rectify it and then we filter it and I may do a little cascade of um, resistors and then and then um, small value capacitors like uh, wherever it went one microfarad um, 350 volt jobs I've got one here somewhere that'd be it um, yeah just a couple of those um, just a cascade kind of improves the filtering a little and stabilizes the uh, voltage and that's fairly important on the on the high voltage side and then um, for our to run our heater heater or heaters on our 12ax7 um, the 16 or 18 volts well it says it's a 16 volt power supply but the uh, meter measures it at around 18 or 19 goes to this uh, rectifier uh, gets rectified obviously gets filtered by this 1000 microfarad uh, 50 volt capacitor um, by the time it gets rectified it's up to 25 volts and then it gets regulated down to 12.6 by this uh, 7812 and I use a, a uh, little signal oh, actually it's not, it's a little power diode I don't know whether you can see that there little power diode there off the uh, reference pin on the regulator to ground and that bumps it up to 0.6 don't know whether it makes a hell of a difference but it's a good idea to run run uh, a tube on uh, what's been recommended for it so 12.6 volts it is with the uh, with the heaters run in series 6.3 if you're going to run them in parallel so uh, let's power this thing up so I'll I'll put our, our uh, 16 volts AC in and we'll move the meter over a little so we can see it and uh, we're on the 750 volt range at the moment I'll go to AC and we'll measure the voltage over here on the input where the power comes in so it'd probably be just as easy to measure it just here. So it says it's 18. 18 volts on that scale. 17. Now we'll go over to the HT. So it's got that 17 volts going in. And on this side, we've got 100 and Sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Okay, we'll go to DC now, and we'll measure the voltage across the the output of the. Actually, you can't see that, can you? Of the rectifier, and it's twenty-five volts. 
And then we'll measure the voltage on the output of the regulator. It says 13. So if we go down to 20 volt scale, we'll get a, a better example of what that is. 12.67. Now, now that we're on DC, we'll go to the 750 volt scale and we'll check the voltage across this capacitor here. 235. Now, by the time I get the tube across across that, it'll sag quite a bit. It'll probably drop down to well below 200 volts, maybe 180, something like that, which will be you know, a good a good voltage. 230 is probably a fraction higher, but you can run 12x7s up to 300 volts, but that's probably pushing it to the limit. So, uh, just one last thing. I want to show you... I'm going to unplug the power. Now, this is a, a little... a warning to people who want to play with high voltage. Not that I would call this high, but it's high enough to inflict injury or cause death. I've unplugged that now for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Say I was working on this, trying to get it going properly, or maybe it's had a fault and I'm trying to fix it. I've still got 200 volts across that capacitor. Now, admittedly, if there was a circuit attached to this, this power supply, it probably would sag a little bit quicker down to a, a safe voltage, but... There's still 196 volts there. Now, what does that mean? Well, 196 volts is enough to uh, give you a, a really serious shock. And if you've got a weak heart, it could even cause death. And just to show you how much energy is actually there stored in this capacitor, I'm going to short it out. So now it's discharged. Oop. Still had a little bit left in it. Now it's discharged. Now that's not the way I'd recommend to discharge these things because it tends to blow chunks out of everything. Um, the best way of doing it is to use a 1K 1 watt resistor and um, generally I'll fold, fold the legs down and um, we'll plug it back in and charge it back up so that'll be charged again now I'll just check the voltage so you can see it there's 216 there get a pair of pliers without touching the metal although it's probably not going to make much difference on this because this is isolated through this transformer we put our resistor across there for a little while we'll measure the voltage now it's discharged and that's the best way of doing it. Anyway, I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them. And uh, have a great day. I'll catch you later. See ya.